Okay, I'm going to do a continued straight line, and I'm here to bring you your weekly read from the 10th to the 16th of February. Uh, it is a general read, so it won't resonate with everybody. I am working with my second edition of the Sacred Geometry Healing Cards. The links are below to where they can be purchased, as well as other products such as my Lab or Liquid Alchemy in a Bottle, which are my vibrational elixirs. There is also, there will also be the link to my upcoming tour to Egypt later on this year and very, very excited for the Seeds of Kemet tour, the 24th of October until the 9th of November. And that will be also in conjunction with Yusef Oyan. So please do have a look. It is going to be um, a trip of a lifetime and I cannot wait for that to uh to come, it's just not coming fast enough. So yes, very much looking forward to that. Okay, so let's start this week's reading. Um, just at the bottom of the deck is the fulfillment card, which is our connection to the all. And I just wanna talk about this just for a minute because I feel it's really uh, pertinent, really relevant on a number of levels. And one of the biggest things, like when you read about why I created this card, it's about unconditional love. It's about the, the, our connection to the all, but coming through the force, like, uh, you know, um, which is love. And in this lifetime, the one force that we all need, if that is the correct word, but I'll use it for here. But the one thing that we all um, need to understand and to learn and to um, accept is love. And it's unconditional love, not only unconditional love of self, but uh, love for those around us, um, not just people, but animals and the planet. It is on so many levels, even our food, because the more love that we even give to our food and that to our water, because and think about it, we're 60 plus percent water, the more love we give to that, we actually start to change the coding of that water and we we then can change uh, our own uh, genetics, our own DNA on, on so many levels. And that's not only that, it's then what, you know, can you imagine, uh, you know, we're, as we're all connected, the love that we're creating as and unifying together. So I really feel that was an important message that I really wanted to bring through and it'll be interesting to see where this reading does go. Uh, even though it is Valentine's Day this week, every day should be Valentine's Day. It should be a day where we are always giving love. We are always um, remembering our loved ones. And yeah. So the first card I'm always to come through is the 417 frequency. This is... Um, I feel a continuation really of what has been coming through in the uh, previous weeks, but 417 is about releasing traumatic experience. Each one of us goes through our own trauma within our lifetime and to how we experience it, as I said, will be different for each one of us. But it's still so important that we are able to release it because to be able to release it allows us then to move on um, and we don't stay stagnant. You know, this is, this is not the place uh, for stagnation because there's just changes and unforeseeable changes that just keep on coming. And we need to be, you know, um, we need to be on track with these changes that are coming. So the more we stay stuck in energies that don't serve us anymore, that which needs to heal, that of our past, um, you know, it will make it a lot easier as time goes by. Okay, and it's with what I was saying because we are just continually evolving. Um, we are continually moving on. And as we're expanding, we need to come through on, on different levels energetically. And for us to do that, it's so important to, to leave these, a lot of these past uh, pains, whether emotional, physical, mental, even maybe spiritual for some, but we need to be able to release them and 
you know, it's okay. It's really interesting to, today also is the full moon in Leo. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to feel into this energy and no better day than today, um, given that it is a full moon. I am doing this on the Sunday the 9th and it is the full moon everywhere on the 9th of February. So you use the full moon to release. Write down what no longer serves you. Burn it, put it in water. Um, if there's someone that absolutely, you know, if there's someone that you need to, to really let go of. Um, one way I like to do it, and it's energetically, is I put that, you can put that person's name on a piece of paper, and this is not for everybody, but you can then freeze that person's name and it's it's about being able to put them aside you know because for some there are there are people out there that can really cause a lot of hurt and a lot of pain and um it is a way of doing it wow okay ah oh, beautiful okay we have quite a few of these solfeggio frequencies coming through another thing i would suggest then for this week is to probably go on youtube and download um the whole array of, of solfeggio frequencies and listen to them uh, in some music, even while you're doing some work, maybe sleeping, going for a walk, whatever it may be, even meditating. Um, but the 741 frequency, this can also uh, be, this can also work with the 417 because it's about letting go and, and releasing from our body that which we don't need anymore. It may be, it, it is about working with our soul's highest expression. So for this card, it may be that, you know, you need to change your diet. It may be saying, you know what, time to give up the alcohol, time to give up the cigarettes. Uh, it might be saying time to give up a shitty relationship. There are so many things that's gonna be different for everyone. But as I said, this is our time we are, continually expanding we are continually evolving and you know what it's hard you know um like from last week's reading i remember it being about the foundations and about feeling like you know our foundations are shattering beneath us and that is okay it's okay for that vulnerability and you know really knock it off its perch today tonight you as i said use that full moon write it down burn it put it in water, bury it, whatever it is. Use the Ho'oponopono, the, the uh, Hawaiian mantra, which is, um, please forgive me, I'm sorry, thank you, I love you. Repeat, 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 repeat to yourself. And then it's about also um, that, that uh, mantra, that frequency going to the person or people or whatever it is that it needs to go to as well um, for that forgiveness to occur. We're really tuning in on a high level. It's about really going to the depths of our intuition and wisdom. And for us to get to this frequency, it's about being able to, we need to release ourselves at, at, you know, very much from an ego level. It is about us being able to come from a pure place of love, releasing the fear that we no longer hold on to. And as we meditate, we can really uh, get into the higher frequencies and how pertinent as well for love frequency to come through um, because this is all about, it's about love of self. And for some, it is also going to be about that soulmate connection. And again, it's Valentine's Day. So it's really, really divine when we look at this as well. Um, and, you know, what's pertinent is again is, you know, the 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 sacred geometry, the Vesica Pisces that we see within the love frequency, okay? Because it is about the birthing as well. We can look at it as a birthing of the next level of who we are. It can be symbolic of the Yoni. Uh, this is only one way that we can actually look at this. And, you know, it's about coming in um, and rebirthing on that aspect as well. Um, each one of us will look at it slightly differently, but it is, you know, it's about what we're creating as well in this world. It's about the mirror image of self, and it's also the reflection of what we see in others. Okay, let's pull one more card. 
see what else comes through. Oh, there's a couple. Mm. And it's come through. Surrender. Don't fight it. Don't fight what is coming through for you. Um, you know, I'll be honest, even with myself this week, I've actually had to have my, I've had my little cry this week. I've had to let go. I've had to surrender because I, I've got to a point where it's become so overwhelming the, you know, the things in my life. And it's not that they're bad by any means, but it's just on a, it's, it becomes relentless and it comes to a time when you go, you know what, I need to make time for myself right now. And, you know, only it, it, it's about that self-nurturing, self-loving that we can also give to us so that we can go through, you know, the changes that need to be made. And at the same time, it's about, you know, looking at the mirror, we're looking at, okay, what is it that we need to let go of? What do we need to surrender right now? Um, what, you know, experiences do we need to cleanse from our life? Because it's these that hold us back. Because when we're in our head um, and we close ourselves off to not being able to accept the unconditional love that is there because we've blocked it, then how are we going to truly evolve? We can't, we stay stagnant. So it's so important that we do these releases and the, it's so important that we do these cleanses. And it's so important that as we surrender, let's breathe into it, let's meditate and let's connect on a higher, higher level. We can do this through our meditation and it's connecting into the higher levels of intuition and wisdom. Because as we do that, we start to unlock what lays within us already, the, the answers, the knowledge that we have within us and can help us on our journey. Okay, and as I said earlier, the one card that was at the bottom of the deck, well, it's wanted to, to make us make its uh, way back again. The greatest force that we need to accomplish in this lifetime is love. And it's love of self, first and foremost. It really is because we have to truly understand love. We have to know what it feels like. We have to understand it on all its levels so that we can truly connect in on a high level. And then as we, you know, what it, it's what we're feeling that we are then emitting and we are giving to others. And as we do that, knowing that we are truly connected, we are one. Um, we are then being able to give that love to others as well. So, yes, there is a lot of messages here about, you know, the releasing uh, and cleansing and um, surrendering and letting go. But for this week, let it be the message of the greatest force is love. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, we do have take hold. This is the phoenix. So as we go through these changes, these inevitable changes, um, and we allow you know, them to shatter away as we, we, we not break down the wall, um, we are allowing new beginnings. We are giving birth. And let's give, you know, giving birth in, in pure love. Um, and it's what we're gonna do, we're gonna take off. It is inevitable changes coming for us all. And it is gonna make it a lot easier for us when we learn to do it in this way. So have a wonderful week, wherever you are. Um, enjoy the energies right now of the full moon and have a wonderful Valentine's Day and look forward to speaking with you next week. Bye for now.